Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Right off the bat on the old show today, Jaguar Land Rover is in the news as apparently they've been over to the old trademark office and have been trademarking some brand new names for inside of their portfolios, including iType. A lot of folks are thinking this is the electrification of brand new Jaguars moving forward, including that brand new SUV F-Pace. Now, that on the Jaguar side, as far as the Land Rover side is concerned, Vilar is a code name that was inside baseball type of stuff, according to Land Rover, that they were using on a project that's been out for several years now, but it may get its own moment in the sun as it's going to be its own variant. Now, I'm not for sure if that's going to be an electrification vehicle as well. The Geneva Motor Show is a little under a month away, so we know a whole lot more hopefully come then. Sticking with the electrification side of things, you may know the Chevrolet Bolt, and you may have thought, man, that is a sweet ride. 200 miles of range and a bargain basement price tag. But I live outside of the United States, and especially in the European market. Guess what? The Opel folks have got your back. Much like the Chevrolet Volt has a sister car, the Opel Ampera, same deal with the Chevrolet Bolt, because this is the brand new Opel Ampera E. Exactly the same, just a little bit of badge engineering from the folks over at General Motors. Not for 100% sure when this vehicle will go on sale, but we don't know when the Bolt is going on sale as well. But that will possibly be in tandem with each other. They'll go on sale at the same time. We'll have to wait and see on that front, and haven't heard an official price on this car as well. Next up on the list, sticking with electrification, the Chicago Motor Show, which is the place for the debut of this machine, Kia's brand new dedicated hybrid platform. For the first time ever, Kia will have its own hybrid platform vehicle. It's this, the Kia Nero. The Nero comes with a 1.6 liter, four-cylinder Atkinson cycle that comes up with a 1.56 lithium-ion battery, electric engine powered through a six-speed dual clutch transmission. Kia claims that this vehicle is going to get upwards of 50 miles to the gallon, which will make it one of the most efficient hybrids on the market today. Not to mention, with these good looks and this much utility, it's going to be a pretty doggone good deal. No word on pricing or when this vehicle will come available. We'll keep you tuned if we hear any more. Now let's go as far as you can get from the electrification side of things. Let's go with some off-roaders. This being one of the off-roaders shown off the Chicago Motor Show, the brand new Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. This vehicle is powered by a 3.5 liter, normally aspirated V6, making 278 brake horsepower, 265 pounds-feet of torque. Then it shifts through a six-speed automatic transmission. Now let's talk about what makes this vehicle so special, which includes the brand new TRD suspension, which includes up front, Bilstein 2.5-inch coilover box spring shock absorbers up front and out back. You got 2.5-inch Fox internal bypass shocks out the back. Think of this thing as somewhat like the Raptor, maybe a little bit softer in that form as from what Ford has, but also in a smaller package. This vehicle also comes with a lot of tech, including hill, ascent, and descent setups for the inside of the electrical uh, management system, along with a crawl control, which will allow the vehicle to actually move at very, very low speeds over very rough terrain. Pretty neat piece of kit. Apparently, it may be coming out as early as later this year, the year 2016, the Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Another off-roader shown off at Chicago is this machine, and you may be looking at it thinking, wait a minute, that's the Ram Rebel. Well, kind of. This is the actually the brand new Ram Power Wagon. This is going to be for the heavier-duty versions of that truck, the Ram Rebel being an off-roader for the two-wheel drive, or I should say four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive segment inside of the half-ton versions. This comes in the heavier-duty versions, especially the 2500 HD. This vehicle comes with the 6.4-liter, normally aspirated Hemi V8, making 429 brake horsepower and 410 pounds-feet of torque. Now, the real trick of this vehicle, it comes with 2 inches of suspension lift on all four corners and 33-inch tall tires on all four corners as well. 12,000-pound winch up front, 
Now that is got a little situation because if you were thinking you wanted this, but you wanted a diesel, yeah, apparently that winch takes up too much space to allow the diesel and the amount of cooling that that diesel is going to have to have for that winch to actually clear anything. So the new Ram Power Wagon apparently is going to be going on sale later this year with no word on pricing or availability as of yet. And last up on the list, yes, let's talk a little bit more about Top Gear. Because if you haven't heard, they announced the presenter lineup. Now we're just a little under two months away from the brand new Top Gear franchise. And this lineup is extensive. If you haven't seen it, you're probably already thinking, holy smokes. Yes, all of these folks are going to be presenters on Top Gear. Let's start right up all the way to your left, the one closest to me. That is Roy Reed. Roy Reed is a motorsports journalist, a automotive journalist. He's also done a lot of work inside of the BBC. Right next to him is this person that we've talked about in the past, Shabina Schmidt. She was actually on the German Top Gear. She races Porsche 911s. She works at the Nürburgring. She's actually called the Queen of the Ring. Uh, she's going to be a perfect addition as well. Right next to her is Matt LeBlanc, the kind of oddball into this deal. You may remember him from the television show Friends. He's also been doing a lot of work in with the BBC, doing some Top Gear stuff already, bridging the gap between the new and the old show. Dead Center is the guy that we've known all along, Chris Evans, BBC morning radio show host and big-time car guy. He's going to be the ringleader for this circus. Alongside of him, Chris Harris. Chris Harris has actually done work for Auto Car. He's been on the Drive Network on YouTube and currently does a YouTube show called Chris Harris on Cars, an excellent YouTube channel. He's going to be a new presenter. Then, a very interesting choice, that's Eddie Jordan, Formula One team owner from back in the day. In fact, probably one of the most flamboyant Formula One team owners over the years. And you're talking about in a grouping with Flavio Briatore. Mr. Jordan's going to actually come on, on on the group. And, of course, the guy the furthest away from me is the guy that we all know and love as the Stig. It's going to be very interesting to see just what exactly all these people are going to be doing on this brand new Top Gear program. The thing is, I'm thinking this thing's going to look so little like the old Top Gear, it won't even be funny. You may see the reasonably priced car segment. There may be a couple of other little segment news segments, maybe. There's a lot of talk that all the old props from the old show have already been trashed. So the possibility that the only thing that will be in existence is the actual track itself. Also, the airfield or the hangar that they actually were doing, the filming inside, that will remain the same as well. But everything else may be completely different. I have to say, with this lineup of people, I cannot wait for this new Top Gear program to come on air. And I may be talking a quite a bit blasphemy. Maybe even people may be rolling your eyes at me right now. But I'm as excited as I am about the brand new Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, and James May vehicle coming out on Amazon Prime. This show actually coming out in just over a month, two months' time, I guess I should say, from the taping of this program. So I cannot wait to see what they have up their sleeve for all these folks. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. The link's down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time. Get the first dibs in the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.